Hello, my fellow Shogun 2 players. The Rip here. With a 5k 2v2 battle on our reach pass. And uh, honestly, there is not much of a reason to show you this as a real battle because there were no actual uh, fight going on. But let me explain it um, in more details. So these two guys, Team Ot Ortenmark and uh, Willing Farm Milligen, we met them t two times in a row. And in the first uh, game they got uh, kind of destroyed because me and Prussian Prince testing uh, melee generals in Vanilla Shogun 2. Personally, I never used melee gen before. Uh, and they are, they are beginners and uh, here's a problem I want to address. Here's the issue with this game, a lot of... Uh, one big fat issue. This game does extremely bad job at communicating its core concept concepts to beginning players. Like in a previous game they had some cavalry, some swords, some bows. Like they did well and you see what they do? They try like they were destroyed by full cavalry armies. So what they try to do here, they try to adjust to it, which is the right thing to do. They try to use spear wall like anything, they, they try to understand what's happening. They were telling us before the game that in first game that they complete noobs, and in second game I asked if we should dodge them, but they probably were too angry and uh, didn't answer. So I want to take my time and uh, dig a little bit uh, into one specific uh, mechanic of the game. And if you don't know what's gonna happen, how this is gonna end then you should watch this video, probably. Because any player with experience will tell you how this will collapse. And we're not going to wait for time, obviously. we capturing all four dodges just because we are, well... Uh, playing for a win, as usual. Like, I, honestly, I can I try to... I tried to play slower in the first game. In this game, I just can't deliberately give up game. It, it, it's kind of stupid. And here I just... <laughs> ask the Prussian prince to take a couple of volleys with mounted guns just to uh, make them to to show them why exactly spear box like this will not work. Uh, and Prussian prince taking it a bit too serious, actually sniping a general. On my side, I have uh, and mechanic I want to t talk about is obviously morale system of a game. Hmm. Uh, so, if you're confident that you know about morale well, if you know that you think you can control it, then uh, just skip this video completely, because this is extremely basic stuff, absolutely basic stuff, which every player should know before actually going into game. You know, I didn't test, maybe Encyclopedia of a game have something useful. Let me, let's actually test it uh, while we're here. Uh, wait, uh, no, 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 resume battle. Encyclopedia, l l let's actually see. Uh, manual. Mm, attacking with armies, battle panel. Money. Z this is all campaign stuff. Uh, campaign interface. Battlefield play, okay. Novel selection. Oh, morale, let's see. So, they actually have uh, some, st like, the whole morale system they put in this one page. Like, can you believe it? Uh, let's improve morale. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> clearly, game does, like, there is no tutorial that sort of, like, explains you well enough. But let, let, let uh, there is two types of, mo every uh, unit in a game have morale like and uh, morale stat there is constant modifiers for morale stat in a game it's either upgrades for units you can upgrade morale you can uh, have retainers which increase or decrease morale for example here because it's 5k battle i played bad omen which again uh, maybe i'm taking it too serious against these players uh, which decrease morale of ashigaru armies by one Generals, when they, well, they have too small, uh, too little generals, 
can increase morale, uh, leadership gen can increase morale by two. Uh, in Fall of the Samurai, leadership gen can increase morale, Bushido gen can increase morale for some units. And there is a lot of retainers, like uh, Renyu, which increase morale for all units. There is Heavenly Banners, uh, which increase morale of all units, but it doesn't work with leadership gen. Uh, there is Iko Iki, which increase morale of Ashigaru. There is a lot of retainers which increase morale of specific units. And there is retainers which decrease morale of enemy units. So this, uh, those are constant modifiers they played before battle. Uh, let me stop this because this is where Collapse would be starting. Now, uh, what does it do? Base morale, with all morale modifiers applied, uh, sort of create this morale that you see on unit cut on a, in a game. So morale 4 for all these Yarashigarus right now. Uh, now if you look at the Mons Closer, this again, I'm sorry for, for, for those of you who know this, so that you, I, I don't think you need to go through this again. Uh, there is mm, this um, small banner on top of a banner. This is morale bar. If it's uh, green, unit is in completely good shape. If you look at the last, uh, like in this description, uh, which pops up when I put a mouse, not the unit card, but uh, a description on the cursor, on the last line you can see eager, fresh, encouraged uh, general nearby. Look this, encouraged, general nearby. They are all in hour of my general. Uh, oh, actually, no, it's not the aura, is it? Like, it's a bit too much for aura. Yeah, they're outside of aura. So, if general is relatively close, they have dynamic morale increase. If they're in aura, they have dynamic morale increase. It's not shown on uh, unit card. It's dynamic. And this last uh, line, you see, encouraged general nearby. Look at this, encouraged superior local force because there is a lot of them. If you look at this, encouraged superior local fo force. This one, uh, okay. And what happens? This bar is good when it's green. But depending on different contingents, it, go, it can be either more green, like uh, I don't think you can go more green than this. If you're charging, for example, if you're winning a fight, your morale dynamically increases for a short period of time. Now, if you lose fight, like for example, you have weak unit against strong unit, weak unit dies, it will get dynamic morale decrease. Like sustained casualties, uh, superior enemy force, uh, and there is some very strong morale penalties like uh, rear charge, flanking charge, there is sometimes, uh, if units stay, I, I don't know if we can find a unit uh, that have, like, the thing is, when game stops, you can't really see this last line always changes. So sometimes you want to just, if your army routed, you want to go take a look at it, and for the whole game you focus on one unit and look how dynamically his morale changes, what, which applied. So if these units start losing, if it gets charged from behind, and this would be like uh, pinned down from uh, f uh, front, ch rear charge, you know it as hammer and anvil. You probably heard about it. Uh, there is a lot of these modifiers. I can't go through all of them. There is a flanks exposed modifier. Like if there would be unit, and there is no friendly unit, they, it will get uh, uh, flanks exposed uh, morale penalty. So when combination of dynamic morale uh, penalties will be bigger than base morale, at some point unit will route. It's not routing instantly, there is small uh, inertia, morale inertia, if you can call it like that. But uh, if uh, these dynamic uh, penalties for a couple of seconds uh, bigger than base morale stat, with all constant modifiers, unit will route. It may come back at some point, but, uh, well, not necessary. So, because I have melee gen and I have uh, can ignore spears, I just charge uh, this Yare Shigaru. I just want to blob up these units as much as possible, you see? They completely blobbed up right now. 
this is what I tried to achieve. And honestly, you see how they don't know what to do. They just don't know. And now, look at this. They already at red. Uh, it shows encouraged, uh, but because of charge, because uh, of flanks exposed, I think it was red. Like it's the problem with this game. It's very difficult to say which actually causes some of these penalties. But now they are generals exposed. They made this mistake, and this would be a last blow. So I'm charging general, and at the same time, look, I'm not frontally engaging them. He presented me his back, and look, instantly attacked in the rear. Instantly mass wavering. And there is one important uh, morale penalty you have to know about. If you <laughs> don't, it's uh, nearby unit friendly unit routing. And it causes a uh, phenomena that's called in Total War, uh, in Total War community, it's, it's known as uh, mass route, a chain route. So what will happen? Like, they all waver. So... It's not enough to route them, but once one unit route and his morale bar become become completely white, it applies additional penalty, and then all other units that could have been fought, they start routing one one. And I'm not sure. Like, can anyone in comments say me if it if this friendly units routing uh, penalty stuck or not? I mean, if it stacks, uh, it, it would make sense. So I'm just delivering rear charges. And look what's happening. I'm, I'm not even touching this unit. They completely... Okay, and now... Concerned friends routing. Whole army dead in basically one charge. And obviously because general died, but uh, it died a bit slower. So... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13... I think there were 14 uh, Yari Shigaru units. They routed to uh, two Yari cavalry, general, and uh, three light cavalry. Like, but uh, these units didn't really wasn't necessary. So it was Yari cavalry, light cavalry, and milligen. Like, and uh, like, can you imagine how crappy this looks for these players? Like, I wasn't, in the, I wasn't the, on their place. Like. It makes no sense at all. Like, wh what? What? How? Why? Like, uh, because when you start, you don't know that uh, Milligen can ignore spears. You don't know how dynamic morale system work. And honestly, this game in this regard relies on community too much. And it really is our work. It's our work as community to communicate this to newer players. Because... C can't teach them, right? Game can't te teach them. There is no proper tutorial. Uh, and obviously it's difficult to say in game week. I, I kind of tried to type, to type something, but what I can do, I type uh, three or four sentences and then game ends. Uh, uh, I, 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 re <laughs> I really hope these guys are not lost interest in a game after this. Like, that's why sometimes I really think about dodging 5k battles. In Fall of the Samurai, it is a challenge. In Shogun 2, if your opponent is a bronze beginner, like, there is no challenge at all. Like, if you know what you're doing. And here, Prussian Prince, I think, again, uh, taking his time, like, uh, witnessing uh, melee generals, but he's still taking his time to skirmish. Like, <laughs> I finished my uh, this side, then I'm... Uh, and I was like, ah, okay, I guess game should stop anytime soon. And let me look here. Now <laughs> Prussian Prince taking his time. Uh, yeah, he... Uh, <laughs> uh, skirmishing with his mounted gunners. And you see, he, he, he went easy on him. This mounted gunners could have been like uh, 200 kills already. But he tries not to make it way too serious. He doesn't use his mounted gunners that extensively. Because it would completely destroy face in a game. So, let's see. General recently died. Actually, this penalty goes for quite a long uh, time. General recently died, but it can uh, go off later. If you can prolong the game for a bit. And I just don't think long enough. I know that my general is 
This Ashigaru can't really hurt my general much. And I'm not zooming in in this fight because it will cause extreme uh, FPS drop for me. I have uh, unit settings on Ultra. So this is probably the best I can do for you guys. Oh man, this is... Like, this is what I love and hate about game at the same time. The reason I love it is because it makes game actually competitive. Like, it creates this skill gap. Uh, you know how they say uh, bronze player in StarCraft, in Bronze League, uh, can play 100 games against Grandmaster and he will win none. Zero. Top, uh, like, in 100 games he will win not a single game. I can, uh, I don't know, I think s such a challenge is where I performed before. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, for any competitive game, it's very important to have these uh, depths in a game which allows for uh, a huge skill gap. So that uh, some sort of knowledge and uh, skills would allow you to win over um, sort of superior numbers and uh, less knowledge. But on the other side, when I think about it, uh, throwing me and Prussian Prince, it's not like uh, I am such a strong player, obviously, Prussian Prince is, but like throwing us against some total beginners, what good will it, will it make for community? Like, Ladder may lose these two players in one day, just, or get to forum haters in one day, like, uh, they would blame. Uh, balance and stuff and they would go and complain on forums because nothing in game actually tells them what they did wrong and this is a bad design uh, of a lot and of a tutorial uh, which is practically non-existent so yeah that's how it looks uh, when enemy army routed you can kill it without taking any losses so l let's just count how much units they had. One, oh man, I, they can't even get into one screen. Well, I, I think around 14. Um, and yeah, I, I, I really sorry team and uh, Wally. I, I, I hope that you will continue playing. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. I so I hope it helped you a bit. Um, don't think it sh mm. <laughs> opened some new horizons for you but anyway if you have some additional uh, information about morale system work how morale system work how about it quirks and uh, maybe something useful for other viewers to use please leave a comment uh, and maybe we will have some another lively discussion there well thank you guys for watching see you later